Hello, today's topic is interview presentations. Interview has normally come with presentations nowadays. Many of the industries are hiring people or candidates based on how they perform in an, in an interview and mostly what is this presentation quotient of theirs, how appealing they go while presenting any topic given for that particular day. It could be a random topic. Many a times it's like an IT company or a creative company, maybe a teacher, trainer or any job for that matter which requires certain kind of a presentation to be given, more so in the technical world would definitely have this particular aspect taken into account paramountly. So let's try and understand what is this interview presentation and be prepared for it. Interview presentations are becoming a regular part of hiring practice. They are especially common for senior positions or in industries that need strong communication skills. So interview presentation is a short persuasive talk as part of an interview or assessment day. The employer will ask you to prepare a presentation on a specific topic in advance or to present a blind presentation. For a marketing position, you could be asked to market or sell a product or to predict a market trend. Higher level positions may require you to present a strategic outlook for the industry. With blind presentations, a lot of expectations are almost the same as spoken for marketing. The difference is that instead of preparing in advance, you will be given a topic on that particular day of the interview and will be given a limited time, maybe a half an hour to prepare. Now is the time for you to deliver. In this situation, it is very important that you show the ability to think and your fee. What is the employer looking for an interview presentation? In every stage of the recruitment process, the employer is looking for a candidate who stands out. They want an employee who knows their job and someone who will fit into the company culture. Asking a candidate to give a presentation is another tool to help them assess whether the person is suitable for that role or not. Interview presentations allow your employer to see the following key skills and what are they? Your communication style, maybe verbal to an extent non-verbal or written form as well. Your ability to engage with the audience, your job and sector knowledge, the domain knowledge as we say, as we understand. Your ability to follow a brief which has already been given to you for the presentation and the overall organizational skill. Your attention to detail, that is what is the process that you are following, these all would be taken into account. For a blind presentation, the employer can also observe how you perform under stress, how creative you can be. Ultimately, the employer is also checking if you meet the core competencies in the job description. So be sure to revisit the job description before preparing or getting to start preparing your presentation. How to prepare for your interview presentation? When you have received a phone call or an email and the information about the interview presentation, it is always a good idea to ask some or all of these key questions. The questions could be uh, ask whether the presentation has a topic or if it is a blind presentation. Find out who your audience will be, how many people will be you, you will be addressing to. Ensure you know how long the presentation should be. Ask whether you should prepare visual aids and find out what IT equipment will be available as an assistance for you. During your presentation, you will be scrutinized by the interviewer or by a panel of interviewers and they will be judging your stability for the role based on what you talk and how you present yourself. It is therefore critical to be fully prepared so that you can relax and do your best on that particular day. So let's start with preparation tips. First of all, research. What to research? Research the company you are, you are appearing for. This includes checking its you know, media presence, maybe recent new articles or any uh, significant uh, contribution from the company, from the news feed social media post etc etc you should also research the application process for the organization for for larger companies there will be online forums discussions about interview presentations so you could even post your own questions 
in case if you have not known about that answer might as well you know put it and get the relevant answers out of it finally research the assigned topic of course without being prepared without making a storyboard you would not march ahead so you need to research the topic assigned to you make a good content make sure everything you say is your own work it should sound as original the second is make notes to bring with you for example if i have a paragraph and if there are five keywords let me put them sequentially if you're doing a blind presentation you will likely be asked to present something about the industry or organization so you should be very well thorough with the organization research the best preparation is knowing plenty of information about the company and the latest industry news it is a good idea uh, to put together some general notes so that you can review these once you know the actual presentation topic on the day you will have to set amount of time and and prepare this is usually less than 30 minutes so accessible notes are key to performing well visual aids are not usually needed for a blind presentation but always by heart those keywords number third practice your delivery practice your presentation in front of an audience to make sure you are speaking slowly clearly and confidently also time yourself so you know you won't run over time on that particular day ask your test audience to give you an honest feedback on whether your argument was clear and easy to understand and to ask you some questions at the end number four know your audience always always advisable all presentations are audience oriented so depending on the position you are interviewing for better know your audiences entry level marketing or sales positions will most likely have members of the sales management team and someone from human resources a higher level position might have executives company partners and board members so know them well if you have access to the names of the people in your audiences it's always good to research their online presence this will provide you with some guidance on the opinions interests knowledge and the status and will be helpful when you are structuring your presentation for presentations with both technical and non-technical audience members make sure your delivery interests both parties equally and is sufficiently easy to understand what makes a great presentation for a successful presentation give information to the audience in a clear concise and confident manner keep things engaging with anecdotes and example always do that support your ideas with statistics and facts always be fact driven use short notes or bullet points on cue cards don't memorize and recite the entire presentation or read from the prepared sheet anticipate and prepare for questions you might be asked after you finish so the content part the content of your presentation should be straightforward and easy to understand resist using too much of industry jargon and avoid slang please don't try too hard to seem funny or clever as it will probably backfire keep things sharp succinct and to the point don't over elaborate or waffle for the sake of using up time it is good idea to use quotes to back up your points especially if you will be using slides be careful of plagiarism you're not borrowing it you're not pilfering it have a sources and copyright links for one or the third party content and images you use and ensure you keep track of time giving an early short presentation looks like a candidate is underprivileged giving a long presentation runs the risk of boring or agitating your interviewers how would you structure your presentation it should be clear structure make sure the beginning and the end are strong always make a point you are creating a permanent impression there so as that is when the audience will pay the most attention beginning and end here are some tips on the best way to structure your presentation introduction make sure you begin with a confident and friendly welcome introduce yourself and give a quick overview of the topic you have been asked to discuss and your expected goals it is good idea to mention that you will leave plenty of time for questions at the end this will help to avoid any interruptions now the middle thing is always a description part separate the different areas of the keywords and prepare a descriptive note 
your presentation into key points the those key points you should be hovering around and your major focus is to describe it with example and the last is summary or conclusion summarize your arguments and provide recommendations reiterate the topic and address how your presentation has met expected goal make sure you end by thanking the audience inviting questions so you should even use the star uh, interview technique the star stands for as an acronym stands for situation the issue or the topic t is task what you hope to achieve or what the plan outcomes are action what you did how you achieved it and alternative options in case if you have results of course the outcomes results and conclusion part of it so how to deliver your presentation the most important part of a presentation is how you present interviewers are looking for candidates who are naturally professional someone who is confident articulate and presentable your delivery should be conversational but professional the best way to practice this is to present to a trusted friend or your mentor and rehearse it for quite some time when delivering your presentation take note of the following voice speak clearly and use a varied tone intonation eyes maintain the eye contact with the people you are talking to smile very contagious stance take care of your how you sit how you deliver and what is your overall stance in 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 terms of presenting yourself now if you have uh, been asked to pre, pre prepare your presentation it is worth asking uh, if you can present with visual aids that will clarify once and for all whether you, visual aids can be of great help to you and it is permissible from them their side as well top tips make sure your slides aren't too text heavy always try to put pointers use clear and professional terms use different communication formats such as graphs maybe video clips or professional images use quotes and references and maybe company colors or themes if you are going for a specific company and maybe proofread and double check whatever you have prepared so dress comfortably but professionally have your material organized have multiple copies of whatever presentation that you have done get to your interview a little before you are allocated time so that you are acclimatized with that particular environment and check that everything works before you start so here's wishing you all best best luck for interview presentations thank you